I am a maniac with a mission. I want to find out exactly how many times I can die in Splatoon 3. For science! Of course I can't do this alone. I need some test subjects, I mean Splatoobers, to help me out with this experiment. Let's head over to the lab and strategize with our fellow scientists. Alright, well, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> Our strategy was to utilize an ability built specifically to make your deaths take less time, being Quick Respawn. Now, this ability isn't as linear as you might think. For starters, Quick Respawn doesn't actually activate on your first death. It also doesn't activate if you jump off the map. Someone needs to actually splat you in order for it to work. With this in mind, we needed to strategize and optimize our deaths to suit the needs of the ability and make it work, if that makes any sense at all. Ellie, I have a request. Can you, like, Come. brutally murder me, please? Is that you? No, 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 This is no, the no, jumping. No, no. Why did you kill me instead? There you go. No problem. Glad I could grant your wish. And then we just need to run up, kill. We kill, I... we keep opening Gambit, we keep going. And then you can, we can use specials and stuff. The quest to die 75 times. Oh, that's times. it? No, we gotta go for 100, guys. You're, you're right, you're right. How, how close can I zoom into your face? Zoom in. I, like, get I very... Zoom like, my majestic face. Like, oh! <laughs> Being incredibly sidetracked aside, our plan was almost complete. Another piece of our rich puzzle comes in the form of the tower. You're probably thinking, Dirtbite, how on earth is the tower gonna help you guys die? Well, the reasoning is actually quite smart. As some of you may know, if your team is losing and they're on the tower past the five minute mark of the game, you are sent into overtime. Think of overtime like the extra minutes that they add on in a sports game. This is the time that exceeds the initial timer and extends the time of the match overall. We can abuse overtime by having one player from each team on the tower triggering overtime for its maximum duration. This allows us to die more and add to our total death count in the long run. We picked Mahi Mahi Resort as the stage to do this, since it's incredibly small and will allow team members to reach the tower fastest at the end of the game. Anyway, rambling aside, let's look at attempt one of this challenge. I'm gonna immediately start by jumping off the edge just to rack up a few deaths Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying, just until we arrive. <laughs> <laughs> one or two. What? So just keep launching in. Yep. Kill me. Okay, so just consistently here, right? I will make my way to a tower and- Actually, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Just don't paint over uh, our paint. So, so let me get on the tower. Both, both just get on. You died! Yeah. No! <laughs> they fell in the water! Yeah! They fell in the water! We did we it! Tried. Within oh the five minutes. I died 45 Jesus times. <laughs> Guys, why are you so mean to me? Honestly, the bullying that took place. <laughs> oh, makes me sick. Attempt 2 was exactly the same thing. But what we did get out of it was that we should really prepare for the tower situation better. Overtime is vital to our potential death count, so messing it up is a massive waste of time. We did like the stage and the layout of the setup though, so we kept that the same. It was with this mentality that we went into attempt three. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't do it, thank you. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. I'm scared. So, don't, don't kill each other, that's all you need to do. Please smack me with your hammer. Okay. Next time I'll say run over me with a re-slider or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez! Crack me open with a kraken. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Wave break my spine. Unleash your ink I storm. I feel like, stop. Would you like to float with my jet? Oh my god. You guys are way too good at this. I feel like mine only happens by accident. <laughs> Shove your zip in my caster. Stop! Are we gonna keep that in the video? Yeah. Maybe. Because, <laughs> no, at this rate, I think we'll definitely get over the 100. Oh. 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 Popular target. Makes sense. Oh, 92! <laughs> After that massive success, we set our sights on the 100 death goal that we had prepared for ourselves. We were honestly surprised to pass 80 deaths, so this seemed like a great opportunity to improve and reach that goal. One way that we decided to improve was to position slightly closer to the target, so the time to kill was slightly faster. Another thing that we decided to do was call in some backup to further increase our time to kill, being Whale Lord. They were actually ill at that time, so thanks so much for coming along and supporting the cause. The, uh, the cause of my funeral. <laughs> With a new scientist and a new strategy, we once again tried our best to die as many times as possible. Let's see what shenanigans ensued this time. Yeah, but the other one, the first one that nerp, that nerp. That <laughs> nope. Hello, I'm nerp. <laughs> nope. I love it. 
This is so dumb. Now, now we do this for the next like eight minutes. I'm gonna Welcome actually... back to the Demise Podcast, everyone. Here today we have a <laughs> special guest, the Whale Lord. I've heard of Splatoon Roblox, and I've always wanted to try oh, it for a oh video. Oh my god, I, I have as well. All right, ten. Okay. Yep. It ended at ten. It, hey. I, so it is ten. That's a lot of kills. I got zero. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Oh, 96, let's go. I don't That's know, nice. how would we be able to improve that though? I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that we made it to 96 deaths, which is an incredible number for something like this, and as a team, we are very content with it. The bad news is that we couldn't quite get past this number. We even brought in another person, completely on a whim, and we just could not get past this dreaded 96. Towards the end, Waylord suggested that we could bring the tower closer to the place where the execution was happening to save time, but aside from that, we didn't really know how else to improve. So that's where you come in. I really encourage you to try this for yourself with different weapons and strategies, maps and what have you. Leave in the comments some ideas that you have, so if we do this again then we can do it right. But aside from that, massive thanks to Nub for inviting me and the rest of the wonderful people for taking part. They will be linked in the description as usual. But aside from that, have a wonderful day, make sure to check out both my channel and theirs, and take care. I hope this was interesting.